Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion and today I'm super excited because I'm so excited about the Barbie movie and I've got three Barbie fashion ideas to share with you. Now I'm doing Barbie but these ideas could work for any theme, okay? So you're just going to pick the fabric that you love and you can translate this concept into any theme that you want. But today we're going to focus on that pink and black. So the first project I'm going to show you is how to do a pair of shoes and I'm going to teach you how to pattern them with wax paper. It's really simple. And for the shoes, I'm going to be using the black and white Barbie fabric. I ordered this online, but if you didn't want to order Barbie fabric and you still wanted something for the movie, you could do a pink and white check, which is what one of Barbie's costumes is in the movie. And of course there's the Western look also. So you could do something with a bandana also. And the bandanas are like 99 cents. Now, of course I wanted to add a little bling. So I've got some lightweight gems there and the whole thing is going to get tied together by using fabric Mod Podge. Now this is super important because if you're making these shoes, you want them to last. And I'm going to teach you how you can top coat three times so that you can make a really durable pair of shoes. I've also got a quick tutorial today for how to make a t-shirt over using some fabrics. And of course, Barbie's iconic glasses are also going to get a little bit of a makeover with some bling and glitter. All right, let's dive right into these fun one, two, three Barbie fashion projects. All right, let's start with the shoes. You're gonna need plain canvas shoes. Any color will work with this because we're using fabric. We're gonna make a pattern with wax paper, but prior to that, I'm stuffing the toe of the shoe with some paper, and that will give us some stability when we're doing our patterning. You're gonna wrap your shoe with the wax paper and see how I have created a handle at the back of it? That's just to hold it on. Then with a pencil, you'll just trace around all of the lines of the shoe. Now I'm doing this for the top portion of the shoe and for the sides of the shoe. Then you've got a faint line there on your wax paper that you can cut out your pattern from. Now this isn't always perfect, so after I've cut out my pieces, I like to double check them on my shoe and you can adjust from there. Sometimes I've even had to do this step twice if my paper slips. So don't worry if you have to pattern your shoe twice. And again, you're gonna pattern each piece where you wanna put your Barbie fabric. So then you're just gonna cut out your pattern pieces from your fabric. Now I did pre-wash this fabric to remove sizing and I'm using Fabric Mod Podge to attach. That is very important. This is the fabric to fabric formula and it is machine washable, although I hand wash and spot clean these types of shoes. Now you're gonna apply a nice thick coat of the Fabric Mod Podge directly to the shoe and then place your fabric piece down. I'm doing this one at a time and you're going slow. I have this sped up, but in real life, I'm going pretty slow here and smoothing all of those pieces down. You do have some flexibility and some time to move. Now, speaking of flexibility, everybody asks, and yes, Fabric Mod Podge is flexible when it's dry. So again, it really is the best formula for this project. So you can see I'm just going in and I'm adding the rest of my pieces. And sometimes you have to pick it up and adjust and that's fine. You can even trim away. Now for the back side there, I'm seaming it over. I'm just adding more of the Mod Podge and folding it over. Go ahead and complete it all the way on the other side and add my fabric piece down. I should say that all over prints work best for this project. Plaids and things like that are a little bit harder to match. So go ahead and add a little bit more Fabric Mod Podge there and overlap that on the back side. Now for those gems, prior to our top coating, I'm still using that same Fabric Mod Podge formula. I just brushed it on and I'm gluing gems right along that edge. You could add ribbons here, trims, whatever you want. Now I'm gonna let those gems dry for a few hours before I top coat. Very important to top coat with Fabric Mod Podge that's gonna seal your shoes. One, two, three top coats with an hour dry time in between each top coat. So you're gonna top coat, let it dry for an hour, top coat again, let it dry for an hour, top coat again, and do one last top coat. After that, you are good to go and look how cute these turn out. You are all ready for your Barbie movie night. 
This t-shirt is super easy to do and it's a no sew, no cricket. So cut a Barbie shape from your fabric. And for this one, I went ahead and cut off my neckline and I'm just finding the center of my t-shirt here. I'm gonna use Fabric Mod Podge. I'm applying it very liberally to the back of my cutout and I'm making sure I'm getting all of those edges. Then you're just gonna peel it up and you're going to stick it into the center of your t-shirt and smooth with your fingers. Now, if you wanted to stitch around it, you could. You can also add a top coat with the same fabric formula. I did not here because this washes pretty well in cold and hang dry. Now I chopped off my sleeves and I'm chopping a bunch off of the bottom because I wanna create some fringe and this was a really long t-shirt. So you're gonna cut up those sides and then cut in one inch intervals. Just cut all the way across. Now you're gonna pull each one of those and that is going to create a fringed bottom. You could add some pony beads here if you wanted to. Just go ahead and pull each one of those and then you're gonna get that really cute fringe look. That's how easy it is to make your own custom Barbie t-shirt. Let's get started with the glasses. I'm doing a simple makeover with the classic Barbie glasses. And the first thing that I do is balance them in some dried beans. Rice works here too. And I'm gonna use Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge to attach my gems. I'm using a few different sizes of white gems. I'm just adding a little dot of my Dishwasher Mod Podge and then adding the gem. And you can see I went from large to small to fill in that section. And the beans just help them dry upright so they don't slide off of your design. Design. Now I let this dry overnight just to be sure and look how cute they turn out. All right guys, there you go. Three Barbie fashion DIYs for the big movie this summer. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty week.